Hey Hacklings, welcome back to another mod segment. This time around, I'm going to give the case a break and I'm going to catch my keyboard up. Now, what I've got here is an IBM M Series keyboard made in 1987. These were great keyboards at the time and they still are actually. They've got great tactile response. I mean, these keys are real springy. And the cord for it is eight miles long and detachable. Plus, stretchy. Anyway, I'm going to give it the same treatment that I gave the case. It's going to be all black with some red accents, the pinstripe, and the logo. Starting off, I've gone ahead and popped most of the keys off. Out of, and most of those are actually just caps anyway, so it's no big deal. And I've sanded them down, rubbed them off with alcohol, got them prepped and ready for painting. And I've also taken the keyboard apart. So that's going to get painted. Just set this aside. Make sure you take good care of it. And we're going to clean up the back as well. Now here's the thing. The way we're going to do it is going to save you about $60. Because we're going to make our own DOS keyboard in the same stroke. No characters on it whatsoever. So this way, you know, it's fairly inexpensive, and this keyboard will be for the true Leet Hacker. Let's get started. All right, and we're back in the backyard again. I'm getting ready to do some more painting. I've already got everything gathered up that I need. So let's get right down to it. First things first is I need to uh, paint the main body itself. I'm going to paint this black, and I've taped off everything that I wish to save. So let's get to it. Alright, so uh, while the top half of the body drives, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, bottom half. And if you look here, we um, are even taping off the uh, birth certificate for this thing, you know, the date of manufacture, so it ke it'll keep its authenticity. Let's get back to painting. Alright, so now that I've got the whole body painted black, I'm going to go ahead and start painting the keys. All my gray keys are going to be black, and all my uh, alphanumerics are going to be red. And I might change that up a little bit later on. So um, let's go ahead, mask up, and start painting these up. Alright, everything's all painted up. The keys are drying right now, and I'm going to go ahead and logo this thing up and pinstripe it. Now I got these cool little paint pens to do this with. It's really good for um, small detail work that I'm about to do and inexpensive. So start off with the red on the pinstripe and just be real easy with it. Probably take you a couple of times to get the effect that you want. All right, well, my pinstripe dries. I'm going to go ahead and do my stencil work now. And same thing. I've got more paint pens. And it's just going to be the same principle as it was before. Just paint it in. All right, everything's just about finished up. I've just got to do my last little bit of red on the uh, logo itself. And then we can just go ahead and slam this thing all back together and show you the finished product. Hey, we're back here at the lab. We've got everything put back together. It's working the way it's supposed to. And if you look here, we've set aside W, A, S, and D right here. We've painted them black. That's for you gamers out there so you can find your uh, movement controls very easily. And also, it's a shout out to our friends at WASD.TV who unfortunately had to suffer through Katrina. So our thoughts and prayers go out to them. And right here, we even have the Hack.5 logo custom painted on there as well to match the case. So all in all, you have a custom painted keyboard, super elite, matches your own personal color scheme on your case, and if you have any questions about the Series M keyboard from IBM, check out the show notes at hack5.org.